Welcome back to the channel, where this episode I'm going to feature one from Burnham Brewing Company. Burnham Brewing Company out of Michigan City, Indiana. This here is one that I picked up on my travels through, recent travels through, um, from Ohio uh, through Indiana to Illinois. Stopped the uh, typical shop and they had this bad boy in there and I picked up a four pack. I want to say it's about 16 bucks for a four pack. Uh, so about $4 a can is what it's going to break down to. Uh, but just, I was immediately drawn to this right here. Just ridiculous artwork. It's called Juice Puns and they're calling it an, a hazy East Coast, sorry, double dry hopped. East Coast style IPA with Sabro and Mosaic hops. Juice puns. So, juice puns. We see all the juice and little puns written, kind of little puns written on them. Well, you got some like Ness, what is it? Ness Quick. It's called Guess Quick there. I guess that's more, not really a, uh, a juice. But if you look around, you see a lot of familiar, lots of familiar stuff. You got like the, Hawaiian, was that the Hawaiian punch guy? I think that's what that is there, fruit punch guy. You got like the the old little like wax tubes full of liquid, liquid sugar. You could tear the top off and chew on them or whatever. Uh, you got the, um, I don't know, I guess like the, the sunny delight thing. And it does say, hey kids, it's your parents' money we like, not your health. Some of the other things on here, uh, the little chug drinks or whatever they were called. Uh, I says mostly chemicals, probably. Dang for like Tang, if you guys remember Tang. And that one says uh, juice powder, not actual real juice, but we have a monkey. Huh. All right, so just a lot of puns written on there. Uh, squeeze it. Um, now what 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 I don't get is little character there. little character wearing like a football jersey. It says Simpson number 32. Well, who wore number 32? That was a legendary football player that may or may not have killed some people. Right there. Just, I don't know if that's supposed to be OJ Simpson or what. That's just kind of weird to be on there. Uh, but I'm sure there's something to it if I do a little bit more research into it. So just... Cool, over-the-top, crazy, ridiculous artwork. Um, it says, Disturbing the Comfortable. And again, Burnham Brewing Company. I've never had anything. I've never even heard of these guys before. So I stumbled across them there. And um, you throw some K&R out like that, and you call it juice puns, it better be good. I'll tell you that right there. So... It is a hazy East Coast style IPA. Not calling it New England, calling it East Coast style. Love me some mosaic hops, Sabro, right up there too. So, interesting. We shall see what this has to offer me. Crack that thing open there. No explosion there. It would have been cool if it was red. I doubt that though. All right. I think it said this was unfiltered. Uh, unfiltered, unpasteurized, best kept cold. It is cold. It was, it was kept cold there. So, oh, it, yeah, it does got that New England um, appearance to it. Uh, part of it looks kind of dark on camera there, but, it, you know, it's just definitely got that uh, New England vibe. Just a white head. Up on top of this, maybe not as juicy as I was hoping for it to look, but about a finger of just a white head up there. Uh, there's all kinds of different bubbles in there. I got some fisheye bubbles in there. I got some teeny tiny bubbles in there. I got some uh, di very dish soap uh, looking uh, uh, bubbles in there. And then you have a little bit of a creaminess to it as well. So, hazy. Yeah, I can cut. Well, no, not really. If I hold it to the light, I can see like a little shadow figure down towards the, the narrow part of the glass. But as it goes up, it's definitely got a haziness to it. As far as the nose, 
typical citrus, mango, uh, you know, citrus tropical, like mango, uh, a little bit of pineapple in there. Your typical grapefruit, orange, you know, blood red, or blood red, blood orange. A little bit of a melon in here as well. So a lot of fruit stuff going on in here. Digging into it. Maybe a little bit of a, a green plant. Um, I don't want to say floral because it's a little bit stronger than that. But it's kind of got that stuff going on there. So let's get a drink on this thing. And um, I was hoping for more on the nose. I'm not going to lie there. But this is what the, uh, the taste uh, gives us here. Okay, I was hoping for more of a juice bomb. Medium body. Uh, a bit of a coating, you know, the more, the, I think that last drink, I felt a little bit more of a coating on the tongue. I'm gonna say, just, you know, right down, smack dab in the middle, medium body mouth though. A little dry on the back end. All right, so it's got this hoppiness to it, a little bit of a bitterness to it. I don't know what the IBU is on this. It's not crazy bitter. You know, I can get like a uh, like a citrus, like a generic citrus, um, and I'm not saying generic in a bad way. But, uh, you know, a, a non-discreet, um, like, citrus rind to this. Not really orange, not really grapefruit. Uh, just some, some, you know, somewhere in between there. Slight pineapple. But it's got this vegetation. I'm going to say, like, in general. Like a green vegetation. And that's probably what it kind of was picking up on the nose there. So it's a bit different than I was expecting. Maybe even a bit different than I was hoping for. But it actually isn't a bad drinker. You know, it took me a few drinks. I was expecting maybe something else. I was... I was expecting a juice bomb. I mean, look at this. You label it like that. I expect um, get a little bit of berryness in here, a little bit of uh, you know citrusy, tropical, really strong, defined flavors. It, it's solid. It's pretty solid, I guess. Uh, it's not mind blowing. Uh, in fact, I'm uh, scoring it wise. I'm good with a four, you know, uh, just a just a, a four out of five. Uh, artwork five out of five. That's just killer artwork there. Uh, Burnham Bridge or Burnham Bridge, Burnham Brewing. Their logo is actually pretty cool too. Um, yeah, four out of five. Uh, I was. It's good. It's good. It's solid. I was hoping for much more after the artwork, after reading it. I was just, I was hoping for a bit more of a. Uh, a juice bomb. Um, it does kind of have that hazy, um, you know, that definitely that hazy IPA. Uh, it's, let's see, double dry hop. Yeah, uh, for a second, I, I thought it was double IPA, but double dry hop. It, it is what it is, four out of five. Um, my hopes were too high, um, and I was kind of smacked down a bit, so, uh, it is what it is. Four out of five. If you had something like this before, let me know what you think about it. Like, subscribe, comment. Check me out on social media. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. If you are, thanks for watching.